Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Brigandine Legend of Forcina. I am your host, Falco Slenari. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 5. So, I had to cut uh, episode 4 into two segments there, which is fine. It was, just, it was just simply too long. But, in this episode, it's going to be mostly organization phase. So, if you want to go ahead and skip to the next battle, actually, it's probably going to be in uh, episode 6. But anyway, um, you should uh, get some good tips out of this. So, what we recruited last uh, episode was a new hero. We recruited Gloss. We also recruited a... Um, a white dragon and a stone golem so two uh, level 10 evolved monsters so pretty nice let's go ahead and check out Gloss really quick here he is here he's a little 15 cavalier so got the healing ability he's a good knight he has a good strength stat and um, nice rune power actually 222 rune power so he can hold quite a bit of monsters so since he's an expert he can either go back to either a mage a priest which is kind of pointless it's only for the halo spell or a ranger and a ranger can evolve into a grappler and get more passive abilities like uh, I think the grappler has increased attack power but um in any case if you want to experiment with that you can uh, the mage I mean that'll give him the attack spells um, which is what fire or no, flame power uh, geno flame and thunder so it's good because the uh, they do have some good uh, MP stats but still my playstyle doesn't really revolve around that, just simply changing our mages. Speaking of that, I need to go back really quick to uh, Ophelia. I need to change her over to an Enchantress. She's an expert as a cleric, so let's go ahead and change her over to an Enchantress. That way, she can receive more attack spells. Check that out. So five, le five levels within the Enchantress class, she'll become an expert, then I can change her back um, to the Evolved class of the Cleric, which is a Lector, I believe? Yes, Lector. Um, anywho, too much talking. Let's check out the White Dragon. So if you hit R1, you'll go over to the, uh, the roster here, the monster roster. Uh, the monster roster. <laughs> oh man, stop making bad jokes. The White Dragon costs uh, 100 rune power to hold in the hero slot, so I'm probably definitely going to give him to Melligan. So let's go ahead and go to the order. Bring him over here. Not too shabby. Along with that, I'm probably going to give him the Scorpion as well. Just to fill up one more slot, because he can't hold much more. So. These monsters actually gained some really good levels. Uh, throughout last battle. Look at that. 7, 5, 5, 4, 8. Good stuff. This wyvern... I may have to do a little bit of tweaking. Uh, let me see if I can fit... Switch around some monsters here. Uh, let's see. Possibly. <laughs> That's too red. It's bad. But it's close. Let me see. Let's try doing... am I going to do? Is this even possible? Hmm. I'll figure it out. I'll come back to you guys. Okay. So after doing the tweaking, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to fit the wyvern currently. But we'll keep him in stock. He'll stay there. I just have to make sure this castle doesn't get, in doesn't get taken over. Uh, let's see. Change that back. Okay. Alright, that's enough of that. Okay. Now if you remember from what was it? Yeah, episode 4B. We recruited not recruited, we got a uh, black amulet from a merchant. I think I'm gonna put that on uh Gloss maybe. Because if I want to keep him up front and not worry about um, increased damage from dark attacks, I can give that to him. Yeah, black amulet, black resist goes up. Okay, cool. Now, the Stone Golem's here, so I'm going to give that to Galaz for sure. Probably giving the rest of the monsters if it can fit. Ghoul's kind of puny. I'm going to have to summon some more monsters for him, because he definitely needs a good roster. Uh, Carlota, yeah, you're fine. Okay, let me see. Okay, so I'll summon a few more monsters. I'll come right back to you guys.
Okay, check this out. Just went ahead and added a dragon to his roster. And it seems to be a very decent roster. Look at that. He will serve me well, for sure. Okay, let's see. So as far as, uh, as far as attacking goes, I need to think about how I'm going to attack. Because I don't want to attack with three people, only three people in this castle to over here and keep this castle uh, very poorly defended. If that's the case, then they'll, they'll attack it and it'll be easily taken over. These guys lost last time I remember. Let me see if I can do anything for these guys. I should be able to fill up a little bit more. We can do 30 room power here and 25 here. Let me see what this castle has real quick. Can't fill up Brewsome's last slot, but we can do Adelicia. So let's give her a gin and be done with it. Two gins. <laughs> I don't care. It's fine with me. Alright. Cool. That team's fine. It's just hard as hell to attack this castle. I remember the terrain. We were surrounded by a, a freaking huge lake right here and a huge forest. I got bottlenecked into trying to attack the other team, so... Next time I invade that place, I'm gonna have to be smarter about it. Anywho, um, they're gonna probably stay stationary for a while. They'll probably get attacked, maybe in two turns, but we'll see what happens. This castle right here needs to do uh, most of the work. So, thinking about going north here, so I can close the gap between uh, this castle and here. That way we can free up some more space and not worry about leaving a castle undefended. So I'm going to need at least... I'm going to need two teams, obviously, and then another team once I finally get up here. So we'll go over that when we get to probably episode 7 or 8. Depends on how long the battles last. Okay, let's see who we can move, if we're going to move anybody. So that team's going to stay here. Um, actually, they might attack going north. I think Gloss, Carlota, and Lufel might be able to stay here. Unless I have, Do I have a better knight other than Lufel? I think I do. How many nights do I have? 13 nights? Ah, blah. I don't have another knight. That's fine. Lufel's not terrible. <laughs> no, he is kind of terrible, but I mean, if you level him, uh, four more levels will become either you, a cavalier, a barbarian, or a samurai. You can level a fighter up to one of those three classes. Uh, let's see. So Lufel, how much room power does he have? He's going to have 165. Carlota's going to have 170. So Gloss, Carlota, and Lufel's going to be the team. She'll go on a quest. Let's uh, let's fill up Carlota's slots here first with monsters. 170. Let's add this up. Okay, so <clears throat> let's give her a dragon. Oh man, I'm gonna have to wait one more turn. I'm I don't have any mana. That's okay. I can wait. I probably won't get attacked. She can go on a quest. Okay, let's send her on a quest. We could send all three, but honestly I want to keep them there for next turn. Just in case they don't return next turn, because sometimes your knights can stay on a quest for two or three turns. You just never know. Okay, um... That seems to be good for organization, honestly. This team's all set. This team's set to defend. If I'm going to be attacking anybody, it's going to be Yorja. That's going to be the battle, the next battle we go to. So, alright. Not too bad. Okay, so I think we're ready to execute. So, execute that move. And then let's check the status of this castle. Three knights, ten monsters. Kador. I never like going up against him, but this team, it's not too bad. It'll probably be pretty evenly matched. I've got a level 5 scorpion in there. <laughs> if I take this castle over, I'll be able to recruit that scorpion for free. Why not just put it in your roster? You've got plenty of room power. I'm telling you, the AI, you know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and set up the attack from Camelford to Eorzea. Alicia, Battle of Kishman. 
What about Batterkiss? Bruising. I love trying to pronounce these names. Let's see. There's that. Okay. Let me go ahead and save the game really quick, and I'll come right back to you. Okay, guys. So, we have an attack set up. Going to Eorgia from Camel Ford. We have Alicia, Batacris, and Bruce going for Eorgia. And we might get invaded up top, actually. So, in the next episode, we might actually be having to cover two battles, depending on how long each one lasts. Um, I'm probably going to take the time off-screen to go ahead and cut the uh, battle scenes out. And I might put on Swift units as well, just for the sake of maybe making things a little bit faster and more convenient. Um, if there's a uh, new monster that you haven't seen or a new hero in the battle scenes, I'll go ahead and flip it back on, just so you can see the uh, the new 3D mods and stuff like that. So, anyway, um, I'll go ahead and take care of that off-screen, and I will see you in Episode 5B. Take care, guys.